Hey class, good evening. I Gopal Paliwal. Welcome you all to today's session. And this is your motivation for examination. Sir, how how do we stay motivated? What to do, sir? Why this exam is going on? Why do we need to take these examinations? Okay, all these questions are coming in our mind when there is a precious time to study right now. This is the precious time. This is the very valuable time right now which you have got during this examination. And sometimes our mind focuses on some different irrelevant things which should not come in our mind. What is the use of thinking about why examination should be taken? You have exams, you have to prepare for it. So there are some two or few things which I want to share with you today and which I hope will stay deep within your heart for a very long period of time, especially for your student life the time in which you are till the point you are in the student phase that is going to be really important for you. So the first thing which I want to share with you that is of huge relevance. You have studied about in geography renewable resources, non-renewable resources, right? So for the students, there is one very important non-renewable resource. Do you know what is that? Do you know what is that? What is the most important non-renewable resource for the students? I'll tell you. Come here. Time. Yeah. That is what I was talking about. Time is the most non-renewable resources for you right now. Each minute passing by will not come to come back to you and it is very important right now for utilizing each and every moment. So why to waste this each and every moment in realizing why I should do this, why I should do this? This motivation should come within. Self-motivation which I have told you again and again and again that self-motivation is the key. Now many students have this fear of what if I don't get the marks which I deserve. It is not going to happen. Trust me. You are going to get the marks what you deserve. It is a truth. It is a universal truth. Whatever you have done, you will get for that. Let me tell you a very good and interesting story about it. There is a village in which there were only three farmers. Okay, all kind of village, only three farmers are there. Okay, so the first, all the three farmers were given some seeds to plant. Okay, first farmer, what he did, he was given the seeds. He was given the seeds. But that farmer, instead of sowing in the ground or in this, instead of plowing the ground, he kept it to himself. And he only prayed to the God, Ki, please God provide me with the good uh, crop this year. You know what will be happen, what, what will be happening to that farmer. But let us look about the, those two other two farmers as well. The second farmer, second farmer what he did, that during the daytime, he plowed his field, he, uh, he, uh, he sow, sowed all the seeds. Okay. And during the night time, he was praying to the God, please God provide me with the good rain. Let my crop be good this year. Now there is the third farmer. That third farmer, what he did? He was doing the same thing what the second farmer did in the daytime. He was plowing his field. He was sowing the seeds properly. He was doing the irrigation. But during the evening, instead of praying, what he did? That he looked for some other jobs. He looked for some other work, which he can do. And he did those saving. Whatever he has earned by working in the evening time, he did that, he made it a saving. Now what happened? That God was not kind to them and the that year the rain was not good. It wasn't good at all. It was the condition of a drought or this uh, that time. Now, the first farmer, as you know, he although had all the seeds with him, okay, all the seeds with were with him in, intact, he could have, uh, he has not utilized it. So he was only left with those seeds, but nothing, but nothing else. You know, so this is the first kind of students who are just focusing on the irrelevant things. Praying to God for a good crop is an irrelevant thing. It is not going to work anyway, right? So the first kind of student, you don't have to be the first farmer, no. Now, maximum number of the students comes in the second category. They do the work, they do the work, but they also have this fear. They also have this lack of confidence. They also have this exam pressure. And these are the things which are again irrelevant to your examination. You don't want to do all that. Okay. 
so the first farmer and the second farmer condition is not good second farmer condition will be good if the rain happened suppose if the rain happened in that case the second farmer will be good that is the same case with those students who have this exam pressure and all but suppose the paper was easy or something like that that time they will score and they'll get marks but you have to be the third farmer you have to be of the third category okay you will work hard for your exam that is your daytime work but during the evening when the farmer was doing some side work at that moment beta you have to work on yourself go for the sample papers go for the previous year question papers okay analyze strategize what you are going to do in the examination section d questions try to solve more and more because you know that is the scoring area up work on the hot question so that is the extra work that is the saving you are doing towards your examination so this strategy this three farmer story always remember in your life and always remember that you have to be the third farmer praying does not help praying for anything is not going to help you okay always remember your hard work your dedication and your sincerity towards your examination is the only thing that is going to help you a lot so with these words i would like to tell you all beta that do not make yourself stress out do not lose your confidence if you are doing good work if you have done proper studies if you have done the whole syllabus properly definitely you are going to get the marks so now stop worrying and start studying okay with this all the best and uh, uh, all the best for your examination and i am telling you you are going to get awesome marks just focus on your work okay so with this i'll end the session thank you so much for attending the session i'll see you soon in the next class till then bye bye good night see you soon bye bye